Hello, John Neal here. Vlog number 53. This is with my new camera, by the way. I think it might be an improvement. The, the iPhone was brilliant, but I think this is a little bit better. Anyhow, um, I've been banging on recently about cycle lanes because be with the pandemic, a lot more people have got out and about on bicycles. Uh, it's been quite noticeable. So what we really need when we get back to normal are more cycle lanes so people can and uh, people can cycle more safely more often and I think this is a good thing and fortunately it's looking like it's in the planning stage um I've got some just in the news recently so I've got a copy here um of transport for west midlands uh have plans for 260 million pound investment on a 500 mile cycle vision uh, and it says it's been go going to be called the Starley Network. I'll tell you more about James Starley in a minute but this is great news so um, all this money is going to be spent on 500 miles of cycleway. Most of this seems to be detailed in uh, Birmingham but I know it's going to happen over in Coventry and in Eton as well um, and they've got They've got what they call pop-up cycle lanes also, but most of them are going to be separate lanes that keep the cyclists away from the traffic. Also, it says, um, they always have a, love to have a, a sort of a rhyming couplet on this, or a th three words to me, it's not a couplet. Uh, the news comes after the launch of uh, Transport for West Midlands, Roll and Stroll. So Roll is the bicycle, sort of. Stroll is the walking. Roll and stroll. Okay. Which aims to encourage active travel through the a behavioural change campaign that offers practical support for new cyclists and those returning, as well as safety advice. Great. Andy Street, for that is his name, Andy Street. The mayor of the West Midlands. Now the West Midlands is a huge area. Uh, sort of impinges on Warwickshire. It's a cosmopolitan and it's a city area, uh, which includes Birmingham and Coventry. I uh, said active travel is a critical role to play in our future transport plans for the West Midlands. This is what he says, I'll read this straight as it is. Cycling has enormous benefits, both for people's health and in the environment. The more people who cycle, the more we reduce air pollution, true, and the more we reduce the strain on our NHS health service through people getting fitter and healthier. That is why we have always been ambitious with our cycling plans. Mm, okay. And the fact we set and met a £10 funding per head target is an, a testament to that. Uh, so, with more people taking two wheels and their two feet following the coronavirus pandemic, we have taken the decision to reimagine and rebrand our sh initial cycling plans. Good bit of office speak there, but what basically what they're saying is, uh, since the pandemic, people have walked and cycled, so let's go for it. And it's going to be called the uh, Starley Network. The reason being, James Starley is the father of the modern bicycle. Let me just tell you a little story here. I was in Coventry, actually it was almost 10 years ago, and um, I was in Greyfriars Green in Coventry, right in the middle of the city, and it's uh, an area that I used to walk through to get to school uh, when I was living in Holbrooks. And uh, it, I, you would go past a statue of James Starley, and it's got a bicycle on it. James Starley was born in Sussex. But he was a very clever inventor and he, he went to various uh, places to work and was always mending things. Anyway, he moved eventually to Coventry with, uh, we must give credit to the other person, Joshua Turner. And it says here, T uh, Turner and Starley started their own Coventry sewing machine company um, because he was messing about with sewing machines, which were very important back in the 19th century for a great deal of work that was done with them particularly uh, in the British Empire so it's a big business I would have thought 
Anyway, uh, Joshua Turner's nephew brought a new French bone shaker to the factory in Coventry in 1868. And from that, uh, we then realised that a lot of improvements were needed. First of all, it really had no chain, no pedal, pedals as such. And so bit by bit, and I won't attribute this all to James Starley because I know other people did this as well, but he just sort of brought the whole thing together. And I think he was significant in, in developing the chain that connects the front chamber to the back of a bicycle. And the basic size and shape, the 26 inch wheel, was Starley's invention and it's still fairly standard today. And he also um, then developed the, the bicycle, the safety bicycle as it was called, to be the one that we have today. So he really was the father of this. Anyway, when I was going through Greyfriars Green, there's a statue and uh, playing around the statue with these young fellas, probably very late teenage, early 20s. And they got sort of tattooed. It was a warm day. They got shirts off and they got the tattoos off on their backs and all sorts. They, they, they weren't looking rough, but I had a chat with them and they were lovely. So I said, do you realise what this statue is? Because they've got these BMX bikes and they're jumping about all over the place. I said, do you realise what that statue is? And they went, no, no idea. I said, he was the father of that bicycle you are now riding, of which there are millions of them all over the world. And uh, they didn't quite understand what it was. Um, so I asked them to, to pose by the statue, and there's a picture of them doing so. And um, so they learned a little bit more about the history of Coventry and James Starley in particular. Uh, James Starley also invented the differential gear. Once he was um, older, apparently he was riding some contraption of a bicycle. Oh, by the way, most of these contraptions, these bicycle designs, because people were thinking of all different ways of putting them together. And if you go into the Coventry Museum, which I showed you a while back, uh, a lot of these um, shapes and designs are all there in all their various and wonderful forms. But it was James Starley that brought it together to make the safety bicycle. But when he was on one of these, which had a wheel each side, a tricycle sort of thing, apparently the two people sat on it. And as they cycled round, the one power went to one wheel and the other cyclist put the power to the other wheel. And he was quite old, apparently, at the time. And as he pedalled, the other person was pulling it round because they were stronger than he was. And it says there... In the details that it was a Saturday and he went hmm I think I'll invent the, di the differential gear and he did and on Monday morning afterwards he put the patent forward for a differential gear so the differential which is in all car um, mechanisms now whereby the drive goes to the two wheels separately and can differentiate between one side and the other he invented it that weekend. Genius, to be honest. <laughs> Absolute genius. So anyway, all this happened in Coventry. Uh, so we're quite proud to have taken James Starley on and given him the opportunity to do this. And he invented, developed both the safety bicycle, the chain and the differential gear, uh, which I think were quite revolutionary and, uh, and used all over the world. So wonderful thing. And there's the statue in Coventry celebrating his achievement there you are anyway might go for a bike ride myself today looks promising okay bye bye right let me take you on a tour of my rally strada speed with its new bag on the top the configuration of the handlebars is my own preference really this is the rally badge uh, from nottingham established in 19th century. Let your vision be world embracing. There's nothing like a quote from Baha'u'llah to put on your bike. Uh, you get these uh, stick-on letters from the internet. Quite easy to do and I'm really pleased with those. Now a number of the components, the gears and the cassette at the back here and the changer might well be Japanese. They do a lot of these very very good ones. So it's a it's a product of global industry really. I was really pleased I got these disc brakes. They've given me no trouble at all over the last four years or so. 
Schwab blah, 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 uh, Marathon Plus tyres, they're German and yeah they're very good, puncher proof. Now then, the saddle is a Brooks saddle which have been made in Birmingham and have been made for since the 19th century. Very, very famous saddles. And that one is the shape of my anatomy, let's put it that way. B17 Brooks saddle. And the box it comes in is fantastic. 